what is going on radar force today um today i actually got home and i saw a package on the doorstep and uh i had no idea what i ordered i was honestly like wait i didn't order nothing what could this be well i opened it up as you can proudly see here i proudly opened this package um and i was like what what is this dude like the address didn't make sense i didn't have no order history and uh opened it up and uh yeah this is dragon ball super superhero the new movie i forgot i pre-ordered that um yeah so pre-ordered that and here it is in all of its glory um this thing is awesome i have not opened it but this one unlike all my other ones this one will be cracked open um it's got a nice holographic like um slip cover I, I really do dig it a dragon ball super superhero okay so yeah i pre-ordered this uh i knew it was coming out in, into this month and i've been seeing them on ebay for really cheap actually i don't know how people are getting a hold of these but i was like oh when's my I, I thought it was coming out like the 28th of this month and i didn't even get a shipping confirmation um <laughs> like i did with the uh the new gt complete series that they just released but uh yeah it, it just showed up at my door today but here we have the Blu-ray and DVD combo pack. Thankfully, Crunchyroll only released the one version. There's no collector's edition. There's no DVD standalone. There's no Blu-ray standalone. It's just a Blu-ray combo pack. Nothing else. <laughs> As of right now, I'm sure there will be more. So this side has Piccolo on the spine. Tr the movie, Dragon Ball Super Superhero, Crunchyroll, Toy Animation. This side has Gohan. That is, that's a nice uh, little touch there, I will say. It's hard to see. I will say it's hard to see because it's hollow. I'm trying to get, there you go. That's a better angle. In the back. Can your shelf contain this sh power? Bigger, mightier, super. Descendants of the Red Ribbon Army sinister leaders have renewed their quest for world domination. Special features, 2022 special video trailers, promo videos. What's, what's the quality we got on here? We got 1080p, 16 by 9. Okay, 1080p is all we got. Eh, that's fine, I guess. So let's open this bad boy up. Let's take the slip cover off for the first time in the world of videos. So here is the Blu-ray. Same thing, just not as beautiful. And they, they're only going to give us the piccolo. They gave us the piccolo for the spine on this one. All right, in the back is the same disc made in Mexico. Is that what I see? Is that what I see? I think that's what that is. Yep, Mexico. I don't know what toy animation is doing or Crunchyroll, but they are doing a deed. So I'm about to like depreciate any value of this thing has, which the value is pretty low for some reason. But so if we can't open this bad boy up, I had to start that off camera. It's hard to like do that. Well, and then I failed again. So this is the first thing I've opened. Uh, of a brand new release in like forever because like I usually open stuff that I I want to watch and they've been re-releasing so much stuff that there's no need for me to open I'm already on like four other copies of the same disc but here we go let's open this bad boy up and actually before I do that uh, what was you got what was your guys opinion on the movie did you guys enjoy Dragon Ball Super Superhero, or did you dislike it? And if you had any nitpicks, let me know. I will explain my nitpicks right after I open this up. So I was gonna say first glance, this is very light, so that means it's not gonna be any paperwork, which is annoying. Please tell me, why? Why is Piccolo the Blu-ray? Oh, Piccolo's on the Blu-ray disc, and Gohan is on the DVD. That's a little annoying, but that's okay. So the Blu-ray version has the special features and the DVD is strictly, strictly just um, the movie. Take that out. So we got Gamma 1 and Gohan and the nice Blu-ray and no scratches. Thank goodness. Now let's check the DVD out and the artwork behind it. I'm sure it's going to be Gamma 2 and Piccolo. I can already see Piccolo, so let's see the back of that. Looking mighty fresh. Gamma 2 and Piccolo. Nice. Pop that back in there. Well, that, that's the complete inbox, uh, unboxing there. 
for everybody. Um, anyways, I'm gonna real quick to make this video a little bit longer. I'm gonna explain my nitpicks of this movie. Now, I love the movie. Don't get me wrong. Loved the movie. Let's set this down. I'm about to do a little life hack. There we go. I love the movie, but I, I, and I love the transformations. But I hated the the zero explanation of how they became what they were. Like Piccolo. I never would have thought Piccolo would have just wished to be, you know, get a new transformation. I thought that was pretty, pretty weak. And Gohan, like my man, like that came out of, came out of left field. Like where, where did you get this power, bro? And like, is it saying heritage? Is, is that, is that why he's so like, was Gohan's transformation? Is it saying only, or is it like special to him? Like, is it caused by DNA or what is it? Like, there's no explanation. Like, it's just a power up. It literally has no meaning. That's what bothers me about the new stuff in Dragon Ball. Hopefully they will explain it. Oh God. And the names of the transformations, like Orange Piccolo, could you not be any lamer? Like, could you not think of a better name? And and then like Gohan Beast form? What is that? I, explain, explain. Does it have anything to do with freaking the Great Ape? No, does it? I don't know. But anyways, that was my that was my biggest like drawbacks for the movie. Other than that, great directing, great audio, and everything. But anyways, that's it for me, guys. Um, let's go put this on the shelf. All right, guys, you take care, have fun, enjoy your movie if you decide to get it. You guys are the best, and until then, guys, take care, have fun, and if you enjoyed this video and want to see more Dragon Ball videos or retro gaming videos, let me know. Take care, guys. Subscribe if you like the content. Later.